So I'm going to move to Carol Beckford next, and then Anushka Sanai, and then Robert Reed, who I, I, I see he has joined us finally. Um, all right, so Carol, uh, if you don't mind, you can open your camera. Yeah, my mic is open. I'm trying to get the camera on. Okay. All right, no problem. Hi, everybody. Afternoon, morning, wherever you are. Happy to be on with the John Network. Very familiar with Kevin and his work, and he would have been a great supporter of any project I've done, including the Jamaica Film Festival that was held in 2015. Uh, this one is different. We're focusing on the Caribbean. And the, although we're focusing on sport and entertainment, it is important that our animators become involved. I know how hard it is to get those projects going, but I think in building out a platform for Caribbean work, it is important that we all connect with each other and so on. The good thing is, although we're an inaugural festival, we have a tremendous amount of PR and con content providers in other areas that we can connect you to. So. We're going to be based in Florida. It's going to be a hybrid event. So while your submissions and your interactions will be online, if you happen to be in Miami, in the Wynwood district between August 25 and 27, which is when the festival is, you may be able to come over to Wynwood Purple Palms district to join us for the sessions that we're going to be having. So at the front end, we're saying enter as many pieces as you can. Uh, the rules are online and they will tell you specifically that you will have interactions in sessions with other providers and you'll be able to network. Um, the days, August 25 to 27, the sessions will take you from script to screen. So you'll essentially know how to, how to talk to people about writing, directing and so on. In the middle, we'll have pit sessions. So not just if you have finished products that you'll be able to participate. If you have a if you have an idea and you'd like to pitch it, you may have that opportunity in the early afternoon. It's three minutes. We're pretty much using the Shark Tank methodology, and then the things you and the things you complete will show them between six and nine in the evening. It's very simple. We have the Real Vibes Film Festival on Film Freeway. I see Kevin is sharing it now. Uh, animators have up to, because we understand the extent of your work, five minutes, anything up to five minutes, although the short films are seven to 11 minutes. So if you have finished products, we'd be happy to have them online for you. Um, it starts as basic as $30 and you have until July 31 to enter the pieces. If you have entered stuff all the way back to, what is it, uh, July 2019, it's still, it's still um, relevant and you can enter or anything that you've created over the, essentially over the last two years. Very simple, R E A L V I B Z dot com. Um, it's as I said, it's our inaugural year, but also we are promising on the back end B two B meetings, access to other platforms. We already signed on with Caribbean TV, One Caribbean TV, and we're looking forward to getting some more um, connections. We also we're seeking a partnership with people own equipment in the film business. And so our winners, while we was, while cash is good, we're also try to, trying to get equipment that can help you to do the work. I, I think that's pretty much it. Good, sounds good, sounds good. So these B2B meetings, um, is there any advice you could give to filmmakers interested, um, you know, as to what they should, you know, bring or how they should prepare? Well, the truth is a lot of it is what we consider traditional television. Um, but I'm speaking to 
one of the animators from an ABC studio and they are connecting us with some people. So we're hoping to get at least two presenters over the panels on the three days to oh, okay. offer technical advice. Yes, to you guys. And how will people be able to watch the festival? Online, we're using Yardstream as our major connector. Okay. And it will be it will be put on platforms across. So it will be on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. But Yardstream is the is the link that we're gonna use. Okay, great, great. So Yardstream is a platform, but it will be very accessible. So if people want to watch on YouTube or Instagram, then that will be a bit great. And remind us when it's possible. All right. So the the, the website is realvibes.com. The final date to enter the festival is July 31. Of course, there's always late entry, but it's going to cost you more. We start as low as $30. I think if the, we go up to $100. I'm, while we'd like the revenue, uh, I, I'm suggesting that you enter early so you don't have to pay the extra. And the actual festival is Wednesday to Friday. August 25 to 27. And it's a, high, a hybrid event which we will do online and in person. Okay, excellent, excellent. So if you hear that, guys, um, enter early, you know, so that you, you, you don't have to pay too much money. And uh, one of the benefits of entering early, and I can tell you this as, as someone who's volunteered on film festivals before one of the benefits of submitting early is not just the fact that it costs less but also the fact that you can the right vision but because because international policy would have been a powerful country even though we're at that it would have been a powerful country in all aspects investment export import the world the world nine yards intelligence everything what really happened now king it give us a beating so them are trying to make him look communist. I try to pass him off with him um, at the same time. Them are trying to pass him off to look like another. Uh, what's happening with them? You know, to make him look like another um, cat. Not sure what's happening here. Um, Is everyone still hearing me? We hear any? Great, great. Yeah, um, I, I, what happened. I think something must have crossed with Kevin's um, display here. I'm, I'm not able to take the controls to, to close this. But uh, thanks, Carol, for um, that information regarding Real Vibes. Uh, one more question. You mentioned a pitch. And I know you said it's going to be a, a Shark Tank style. But just in case, can you just give a little bit more details about that pitch? Is that something they can enter beforehand or what they should prepare um, what is it that you think that should they, they should be have should have with them for that pitch session? No, pretty much is your idea. If you have something that you want to produce, one of the things we're also here we're also preparing is people who may have an opportunity to help you along the way. So they may be interested in a current project or a project you have. So if you have an idea and you think it's all right, so we're zoning in on sport and entertainment. Say you want to do the animated version of the life story of Usain Bolt or Atta Boldon or Shelley and Fraser Price, and you have an interesting twist to that idea. You have three minutes to throw it out, and we may have somebody online who may want to either collaborate with you or to help you through the project. When we announced Nikki Mohan as the ambassador, she, as you know, is a retired, um, broadcaster from ABC and she has great connections in the business of film and television. So while it is a film festival, we are looking for opportunities on any platforms at all, whether it's online television or even audio, because podcasting has become such a magnificent tool. And if it's somebody that has voice, use voice to do storytelling. So if you notice, we have, we're using the word storytellers. Um, very openly because filmmaking is not just putting things on screen as in the episodic series on television, which we all grew up on. It is pretty much about storytelling and podcasting has shown us that. And I think animators have a tremendous opportunity to do both. 
So we're encouraging as, as much participation, as wide a participation as possible. And any of anything you have, no, there's no idea that's bad. And so we want just come. We have three minutes, and we'll have judges online. Somebody may decide that they like the idea and and want to assist you with it. What we're promising is access. So outside of the fact that we have this platform for the festival, we're giving you access to a wide variety of people from several different platforms: television, radio. Uh, media in general and digital. All right, thank you so much, Carol. So, guys, you have that. Uh, we have Real Vibes Film Festival that is deadline. What you said, the thirty first of July, to, for your entry to um, early entry. Right, we're not looking for late entry. Everyone should enter early by the thirty first. But there's an opportunity for late entry if you happen to miss that deadline. And the festival is in August. So please do team, uh, stay tuned <laughs> to their page. I believe Kevin had dropped the link in the chat. Yes, it did. Surrealvibes.com. So you can visit it, find out the rules and all the more details that you need for that competition. Thank you so much, Cara, for joining us today. Oh, why is my <laughs> Technology, sometimes Looking it does bright. not. Having a glitch. Yeah. All right, you're All right, all right. No, you can take over back. <laughs> no problem. I was just giving Carol a chance to come on. I see her mic is open now. Oh, oh, yeah, I was typing it. Thanks for the invitation. And happy to see. I see some familiar faces. So I'm happy to link up back with you guys. So anything we can do. Hi, Robert. Yeah. Right. I know and you very well. Remember, we have an Instagram live to organize, right? Yes, 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 please tell me. Then next week, after the holidays, after the July for US okay. holidays, that's a good time. Yeah. Perfect. All right, then we'll, we'll talk. All right, take care and thanks again. Sure, no problem. All right, guys, so you, you heard everything that Carol had to say. So, you know, try to get your stuff in early. Um, what I was saying before I'd gotten cut off was that another benefit to entering early is that you catch the judges while they are fresh. So, you know, you get to, you get to hear, you know, whether you get, sometimes you get to hear whether you get in early, earlier or not. And also just catching them fresh is always a good thing, you know? So 